Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and those of you who know me personally may know that I am an element collector. I try to find samples of elements in pure form. For example, here is my sample of bromine, ultra pure potassium sealed to protect it from air, and a coin made from red phosphorus. Today, however, I'd like to talk about fluorine, the element that has been eluding me. Fluorine is very reactive, which means it plus pretty much anything equals fire. Periodic videos has demonstrated this. I will put a link to the video in the description. Fluorine will also attack glass, which is why it can't be kept in an ampule like my sample of chlorine, pictured here. When it is placed in glass, it slowly eats its way out, as seen here. Fluorine, however, does not react with silicon dioxide, the material that makes up glass. You might be wondering how it attacks glass if it does not react with it. It turns out that fluorine, while not reacting with glass, is very sensitive to moisture, reacting to form hydrofluoric acid, which, if you watch Breaking Bad, reacts with everything except plastic. Plastic, however, reacts with fluorine and thus would not work. You might ask them, why not just make sure everything is completely dry? Unfortunately, this will not work either because although fluorine does not react with silicon dioxide, it will react with the hydroxyl endpoints in the crystal structure to form hydrofluoric acid once again. Nicki Minaj will tell you exactly how I feel about this. The best solution found so far is a very complicated process involving a single quartz crystal and some Teflon. This allows for a small sample of fluorine to be contained relatively well for a few decades or so, but it will still eventually react and destroy itself. Ideally, calcium fluoride would be the best way to contain it, since all the fluorine could do would be exchanging fluorine atoms with the calcium fluoride. Calcium fluoride is more commonly known as the mineral fluorite, which is usually green or purple because of impurities, but can be purified to be transparent. Now we just need someone to make fluorite ampules. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.